good woods. Probably gonna notice in this video, I'm doing it all backwards. <laughs> doing the opening now after the camp's already set up. But uh, yeah, basically, um, I'll put a link down in the description below to over to Cole Craven's site as well. Um, we're both got the cameras out tonight, doing something a little different. Just gonna turn on and kind of record what we can of a camp out in honor of our good friends down at the third annual rendezvous uh, down in Morton, Mississippi. I know, uh, Mark, like I said, buddy, we tried our hardest to turn around and get down there, but unfortunately, as you know, some of the background, real world just didn't allow it and the money and stuff. But uh, like uh, Tika turned around and said, we see a road trip in the very, very near future. So just because we didn't make it down for the, the rendezvous, um, like I said to you, and, and, and no bad feelings to anybody else, but brother, I just want that man hug that you were turning on and talking about. <laughs> Keep going on about. Ah, yeah, there you go. It was actually said on FS Bushcraft Live. Mark's been going on for years and years and years. Well, I shouldn't say years and years and years, but the last couple of years, um, with without bringing up a lot of stuff, but uh, kind of when Martin had lost his mom and, and things like that, um, he's always gone on about. He can't wait until he gets to meet the crazy Canadians, and uh, he says he's got a big old man hug waiting for me when he sees me. So I don't do man hugs. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was going on about a kiss, but I got him switched to a hug, so I, I'll, I'll let that one go, you know. But uh, no, like I say, you know, it's been a long time since I've been out in the bush, and uh, you know, I should. Well, Cole and I have been out a few times, but with some things that have been going on. Uh, I just haven't been recording. I know there's been a lot of users that have been sitting around sending messages and stuff like that asking me, uh, you know, K-Bar user, uh, for an example, and uh, uh, Empty Outdoors, uh, Dark Matter, uh, Mark, Cab7, uh, <laughs> Noble Archive. Um, oh, my gosh. Like, if, I know I forgot a whole bunch of this, but <laughs> I haven't done a whole lot with the channel lately and haven't really been putting out any videos, and that's just, like I say, unfortunately... You know, it comes to that time every once in a while that real life gets involved and there's just been a bunch of stuff going on. So, it hasn't that I haven't been coming out. I've got out a few times. It's just... Uh, We've been out a lot. Yeah. I just <laughs> haven't recorded anything. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's just more... I need to take some time for myself. And had to come out to nature and just had to unwind. So, with that being said, this one, we thought, this time coming out, we're going to do a car camp. Something Wayne and I don't do very often. Um, you know, normally we're way back farther into the bush. But this time we figured, hey, let's do a car camp in, in uh, celebration of the third annual rendezvous. And that way there, we could turn on and bring some chairs and stuff. We don't have them all out now, but hopefully later I'll get out the big light and uh, I'll show you what we got set up. And uh, we're just going to relax and chill. Now, unfortunately, I doing like the it. car camp, you can't help but hear the highway. And it's still like a mile that way. And you can still hear the freaking traffic. It's crazy. It doesn't matter where you go. You can't get away from it. I got my chair. I left his in the car. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to go and get it. But at least we, he got the coffee. He brought the coffee in. Yeah, we stopped at Tim Hortons on the way. Yeah, that, this is car camping. Like, come on. Normally, I can't turn around and carry a coffee into the woods because it's too far back. I'd spill it all over myself by the time I got there. But anyway, like I said, we'll be back. Okay, so I got mine. Temporarily up. Just put this up and tied it up for now. But eventually I'll turn it on. Take it back down. So I got my hammock under there. My bag's under there. Everything will stay out. It's not supposed to rain tonight, but it's going to be dry. But I'll move you inside and I'll show you what I got going on inside. So, I got inside. I got my closed memory foam. I was saying I got it tucked in there. I don't know how well the camera can see that. But uh, something I wanted to show at the same time. Matt, you and I were talking at one time about these lovely sleeping bags. Now, it's kind of funny I'm, I'm saying this now and doing this now because uh, somebody beat me to the punch there not that long ago and actually turned out to put a video up. No names uh, given. We know who that is. <laughs> but when we were talking about rolling these bags and how you turn around and try to roll them and put them back in here, your sleeping bag, good luck. It's not meant to do that. Um, kind of like Cole had mentioned in his video that he had turned on and put out, you know, they're basically, they're considered a stuff sack. That's why they're made so small. So, kind of going on and showing the, the difference of, mine's already in there, this is the hood of my bag. So when I always in my hammock, 
I just dropped the bag in there. I can hang on to the handle and I just pull the hood. And the bag, as you can see right there, I can say, sorry guys, I don't know how well that's coming out being under the tarp. But my sleeping bag is fully laying in the hammock and in position. So now all I have to do is basically, you know, obviously, you just turn around and fix it up a little bit. Flare it out. Undo the zipper. And that's it. I could climb in there right now. I'm ready to go. And then at the bottom of mine, being that I stuff it, it actually fits my pillow! <laughs> yes, can't go anywhere without a pillow. So, stick the pillow in there, flare this out, all the bags and stuff, turn around and push up on the end, and that's it. She's ready to go. Done like dinner. Pretty simple. It just hooks in along here in the back and such, but when you sit in it, it's rather comfortable. I really like this chair. Oh, now there we go. Car camping at its best. Got chair, fire, hammock, traffic. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be a nice night. I think it's time to turn around and get uh, break out the stove, get some grub. I was going to have me some beans and wieners. Canadian style. That's nice red chair, but uh, you know, it's gonna be a good night. Just turn around and wish I was in Mississippi. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. But soon enough. Anyway, we'll get back at you. Right, I'm gonna check this out. Mr. Cole Craven. He done runs out to the car. He's got the Cadillac of comfy chair. I'm going to test this bad boy out, see if we give it an FS Bushcraft approval. Oh man, this is like a lazy boy. This is better than car camping. Man, all I need now is a footstool. I think Wayne's going to lose this chair. <laughs> I think we'll take it. I think I'm going to find me a stump. If you're going to put a stump out, it'll be good, good, good. A bad little chair. Like a lazy boy. Oh, I think he's coming. Better get over his chair. I might get upset. <laughs> well, in honor of the vu, I was making me something I haven't had in a long time. Some good old fashioned beans and wieners and pork fat. You know, in memory of the vu, or in thoughts of the view. Say, uh, what I meant to say, in thoughts of the view, the view, man, I can't say that right at all. Uh, that's a tongue twister, Donnie, Donnie Pavellini. You need to change that name. That's just too freaking hard for us Canadians to turn on a spit out. The third annual rendezvous. I was making me some beans and wieners, and I'll say in memory of my father. This was his favorite thing that we used to have every time we come out in the bush. It was beans and wieners. It was always beans and wieners. Dad, what do we have? Beans and wieners. <laughs> Dad, what do we have? Beans and wieners. What are we having for breakfast? Beans and wieners and fried eggs. Like, it was all beans and wieners. Why so, did you keep basking? You already knew. <laughs> yeah, exactly, eh? It was always beans and wieners. But, trying them up. Now, the only thing I turned around and noticed is with this wonderful Stanley. But, is that uh, some like beans and wieners, because of the molasses and stuff in it, you really got to keep it, uh, you got to keep an eye on it. You got to keep stirring it. It uh, tends to want to stick to the bottom of the pot. So, Mark, Mr. Bailey, get any idea I can do to that pot to stop it from sticking on the bottom? Because it's a pain in the butt, man. I've tried everything. But, uh... It doesn't, it's weird, the uh, the Stanley Adventure, the small one, I noticed, it doesn't do it. 
but this uh, this bigger pot tends to uh, want to stick on the bottom if you have anything that's got any kind of syrup or got a cream to it or whatever. But uh, it's good. I can't wait. So uh, once I get it all cooked up, I give it another shot. And as usual, Cole's out there turning around and cutting up some wood. We just got to get us a fire so we can get this campfire chat going. And uh, he even brought a radio. Man, we are glamping, huh? Got the chairs. He's got his radio. We're going to pull it out after. Unfortunately, like I said, where we are, you can still hear the traffic back there out in the highway. You can hear all the cars and trucks and stuff going by. But, uh, you know, the other cool thing about it is, Mark, that would be the highway that I would have been taking if I had been coming down to Mississippi. Right out there. It's the, the highway that cuts across into New Brunswick and goes into the great state of Maine. But, uh, we'll be down soon enough. Got the light hanging up. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful night. Can't complain. So, uh, we'll be back after. Oh, hey, it's dawn. Let's, uh, Get this off. Finally, the great coal crab and fire. We finally made fire. <laughs> oh, no. Fire in the dark. Woo! Almost overfilled the bowl. There's a little bit left in there. Oh. Yummy. Mmm. Good stuff. Hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's funny how things come right off the stove and we eat it like that and wonder why it's hot. Mmm. <laughs> All I'm missing. Nice roll of bread or some cornbread. Dip in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll stick to my bones well tonight. I'll be sending over gas signals to Mr. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a lighter underneath your underneath your hammock. <laughs> mm. That'll keep me warm. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Nothing better. Well, anyway, I'm going to eat that. I'm going to enjoy it. Finally get the fire going. Turn off this light. Sit here and eat my beans and wings. That was some good. You know the fun part. Cleaning up the dishes. Had to boil some water in there. Pour it into the bowl. Yeah, do it the old fashioned way. Ranger Cookie, where are you at? I want that kitchen sink you got. I seen that video. He got the whole freaking thing set up down there in the rendezvous. That boy, man. He's got the Shangri La of all Shangri La's going on. If you haven't checked him, you gotta check him out. Ranger Cookie. He's got the video up there. He went down, I believe it was yesterday. He got all set up there in Mississippi. That boy's got everything. He's got a bed set up. He's got a shelter set up. He's got chairs all around. He's got a kitchen sink. A double, double kitchen sink. <laughs> that boy's got it all. He'd make doing dishes on um, freaking easy. You know, after every meal, that's where I'd be.
There we go. Squeaky clean, just like new. Ready for the next meal. So I'm starting. I don't think it's coming out. There we go. <laughs> Get a bowl in a piece of wood. This is so peaceful. Yeah, it is. This is the way to do it. So, now I got the bowl started. Now I'll work around. I'm going to visualize in my head what this thing's going to look like when it's done. Lovely morning. Alright, I'll officially admit it. I wish I was at the third annual rendezvous. Because it's cold this morning. It's like zero degrees. What is that? 32 Fahrenheit. Man, land. Where are you, man? Make me warm. <laughs> That's not too bad. Got the coffee going. You don't know. Got the fire going. Cole's over there cutting wood. Oh, get the tripod to stay. Where are you going? There we go. It's a cool morning. Just gotta get some coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. I'm trying to get cold craven. I had to try to get him on video this morning. He moved too quick. He was cold. I wasn't cold at all. <laughs> I covered up the sleeping bag. I was toasty. <laughs> the fire looks warm. It feels warm. There's my spoon I curved last night. I have a brown on it because I actually turned around and put a little wood burn on it from the fire. But I like the spoon. I carve a spoon that actually looks like it was you know, an old fashioned kind of wooden carved spoon. But works pretty good. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to come out or not. But right there, you can see the moon. Friday the 13th, Friday morning, you can see the moon. I'll zoom in a bit. I don't know if it's going to show up. Oh, 
Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. Got the moon in the sky. As the sun's coming up. That's cool. I don't know if you can hear that, but the crows, man, they are going nuts over something. There's something down there. I don't know if you can hear that, but wow. Friday the 13th, we've got a murder of crows. I don't know how many's down there, but I've never seen that or heard that many in one spot. No, that's pretty, uh, that's intense. That's a lot. <laughs> Friday 13th. Friday the 13th. Murder of crows. Mind you that movie Birds. Yeah. Wow, that was loud, man. That's loud. That's insane. down over the swamp. They must have found something. So right that time again, time I hate. <laughs> <laughs> All packed up pretty much. Just sitting relaxing. Enjoying the sun still coming up. Yeah, it's nice. And that murder of crows that just went by, that was pretty cool. That's something that uh, I've spent a lot of time in the woods and I've never seen, or I, I didn't see them. I never heard a event like that with crows. It was, it was like a hundred of them all con at the same time it was loud it was yeah. something that you don't it's rare very rare i'm sure yeah, that's pretty cool i don't know if i got it on the camera or not but uh we'll yeah my see, camera's in the bag that <laughs> was uh that was pretty loud i don't know if it was maybe they found a dead carcass or something down there we got a swamp just down over the hill down behind us so, I don't know if there was something down there and they all seen it, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> it was pretty freaky. That was cool. But anyway, turn around and try to end this out. I don't know. See what we got. Get back home, put it all together, put something up. But uh, once again, just want to say. I know I've said it a few times, Mark, Kathy, definitely, definitely, you know, kind of disappointed. I know that, uh, you know, we were hoping to turn on and get down there big time for the rendezvous, but like I said, you kind of know the background and the backstory that uh, things just didn't happen the way we hoped, but we'll be down there soon enough. That's why when we thought we'd turn on and come out last night and do a camp out and, uh, Wayne turned around and come up with the idea, hey, let's do a little video and, uh, you know, in support of you guys. And, uh, you know, we might not be there in person, but we're there in spirit and we're there in mind. So, to all you great folks, the third Southern Rendezvous, 
man. Donnie, <laughs> like I said, you gotta change that. That's a tongue twister for us Acadian Canadians here in the East Coast. So once again, from your two favorite brothers in Canada, uh, Peter from FS Bushcraft. Paul Craven. <laughs> <laughs> he's always speechless when he's on my camera. Not on his camera, he's all blah, blah, blah. But anyway, once again, we wish as well. I hope you have a great rendezvous. And uh, like I said, say it again, hopefully for the fourth. We'll be there in, in body and in, in all, all our glory. But anyway, until then, y'all take care. See you in the next one. Remember, learn together, survive together. Y'all take care. God bless. Enjoy yourselves down there. Take care.